This is witchgrass, a member of the family Poaceae that is native to North America and which has become a weed in some parts of the world. It is an annual that sets seed in midsummer. The plant has several unbranched stems that grow from a single crown at the base. The stems are light green and very hairy, and the entire plant is covered in fine, soft hairs. Some parts of the plant may develop a purple coloration if exposed to heavy sun. The leaves are long and wide. They are flat and often have wavy edges, and they tend to look ragged as they begin to age. The leaves have short, hairy ligules, no auricles, and are light green in color. The sheaths are densely hairy and may be colored purple. The leaves themselves may not have hairs on their upper surfaces, but always have fine hairs on their lower surfaces. The seed head is a large, distinct branching panicle. There are many straight, stiff branches that are each tipped with a single spikelet. The spikelets are purple when mature, while the seeds are oblong, shiny, and grayish in color. When the seeds mature, the panicle will disconnect from the plant and produce a small tumbleweed. The plant has a dense, shallow, fibrous root system. It only reproduces via seed. Witch grass is highly adaptable and can grow in a variety of conditions. It prefers lots of sun and plenty of moisture, and is common in cultivated fields, rangelands, pastures, ditch banks, gardens, and anywhere else near water. However, witch grass is not very competitive and is not generally considered invasive, as it isn't able to compete with other, more aggressive grass species. The plant is edible to livestock when young, but is not palatable once it begins to flower.